All right, guys, I got a cool one for you today. My guys over at Serpent, actually never met them, but they reached out. They wanted to send me a custom clipper, if you guys can see. Sean cuts hair on the front, the Black Devil. Let's get right into it and open this thing up and see what it's all about. All right, so you guys can see here, Serpent Pro Limited Edition, Sean cuts hair. The Black Devil hair clipper kit. Black Devil, same thing on the side, same thing on the side. Serpent Pro, Sean cuts hair. That's pretty dope right there. I guess we're gonna have to take this sleeve off to read the stuff on the back. So let's go ahead and pop this plastic off. We may have to keep this around. This is pretty cool. Just kind of maybe uh, cut these ends off and I can stick this on my mirror or something. But there it is, guys. Serpent Pro, the Black Devil. You can see it now a little bit. Uh, maybe there's a trimmer in the box. I don't know. They just say clipper. All right, so on the back, guys, we have brand Serpent Suprint. Oh, I'm saying it wrong. Suprint Pro. Ah, Suprint. Power supply, DC 5 volt, battery type, lithium ion, motor 6,000 RPM, so it's a little bit under our normal clippers that we see. Five hour runtime, guys, that is significant, and a three hour charge time. It does have a trimmer as well, apparently, down here at the bottom, with a three hour runtime and a two hour charge time. So that is all that's on the box, guys. I have no idea what's about to be in here, but let's go ahead and slide it out and check it out. It ain't coming. Come on. Goodness. Ooh. All right, guys, so we will start. Uh, I guess we'll see what's in the box. So, oh, they're kind of heavy duty. Go ahead and pull these out. Ooh, it does have Sean Cut's hair at the top. Oh, I'm not supposed to show you that yet. All right, guys, so Super Pro Beyond Master. Everything in the process makes you who you are. So we're here to witness the birth of a masterpiece. All right, we're going to try to make a masterpiece with these things. Something soft in here. We'll go ahead and rip this open and see. Probably a little clipper bag or something. Or oh, it's a cape. It's a barber cape. It didn't look like it would fit in there. I see a little comb poking out of the bottom, guys. Just kind of a standard comb. We have accessories. Obviously, it's gonna be a charging cord, right? Yeah. So we got some uh, premium looking guards with gold on them. That's cool. They even say Suprint and Sean Cuts here. I have to bust those out. User manual. We got some trimmer guards and a clipper brush. And here's our cord. So pretty cool, guys. It does have a USB bottom. We can plug it right in. And then kind of our standard, kind of looks like a uh, wall or gamma cord. I'm gonna have to see if I have any laying around. Of course, we can hook this up and use it. But go ahead and pop these guards out and check them out. I guess so looks like half one, one and a half, two, three, four. So kind of cool. I'll set them down. You guys can check them out. But it does have Suprint and Sean Cuts here. And guys, that looks like the font off my website. That's kind of cool. That's the font that I use on YouTube and on some of my graphics. So these are pretty premium. They look pretty solid. I will go ahead and use these when we demo this clipper and uh, use it all together and check it out. Black and gold is pretty sweet. Enough about that stuff, guys. Let's go ahead and check this thing out. So first thing I noticed, guys, it is not light. It is a solid clipper. So you guys can see it now. I don't know why everybody says Serpent. I've heard that before. I guess just when you glance at that, that's what you think. But Super Pro Professional Hair Clipper. You see it at the top, guys. Sean Cut's hair. I think this is a digital readout on the bottom. Yeah, so it'll tell us how much power we have left. We have 100% left. That is pretty sweet. Here's our charging plug at the bottom. We got a hanging hook to hang it on. On the back, guys, no other than the fade blade. So you guys know how I feel about that. Gold lever, no clicks. So that's not a problem for me. I do not really like the clicks. It is pretty zero gapped if you guys can see and eh, not really zero gapped but it's pretty close i think i'll just leave it just like this and use it out of the box but that's it for the clipper we will go ahead and throw it to the side and get it charging and we'll check the trimmer out all right guys here is the trimmer so same thing we got Supreme pro on the front professional hair clipper sean guts hair a little smaller at the top you know not as much room gold switch on the side we do have a black blade on top nice little small light trimmer this feels more normal this actually kind of a bit heavy you guys can see it's a little bit thick big bulky clipper so we will see how it kind of feels once we cut with it. But the trimmer feels good. It's small, lightweight, but it's still kind of solid. It's got that metal feel to it, and uh, it feels pretty good so far. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get these things on the charger, get them charged up full capacity, and I will do a couple haircuts with them and let you guys know what I'm thinking about these Suprint clippers. All right, y'all, I know you're sick of seeing this dude in the chair, but he needs a haircut, and uh, I just didn't have anything good this week to test these clippers out for you. So we're gonna be testing out these Suprint. It's Suprint, not Serpent. I don't know if you guys heard them in the video if I showed it, but I'm gonna hold it close to the mic so you guys can hear it. These things are super quiet. Super quiet. They sound super good. I'm gonna use the guards that it came with. This is a number three. I'm gonna go ahead and cut into the bulk on top. You guys know I like to feed the clipper up in through the bulk to connect to the length on top. And that's one of the things I judge when I'm looking at how good a clipper is. So, just take it straight up. 
You guys can see the number three is blending straight in, giving us a nice panel on the sides to cut into. When I get towards the back here, I'll just come straight off the side of his head. I'm not gonna round in and cut all this length. We'll cut that separate. Not today for this video, but just wanted to test out the clippers here. So I'm just gonna feed it in, make sure that we have a nice consistent panel on the sides. And these, uh, these are super quiet, they're cutting good. Decent little crunch noise, not too crazy. Honestly, I expected a little bit more because of how quiet these clippers were. I thought I was really gonna be able to hear it. Uh, it's not crazy loud. You guys can maybe hear it a little bit. It might be a little louder when we get to cutting some more hair off. Now I'm gonna come in and set my bald line in. We're gonna use the trimmer that came with this bundle. Go ahead and start back here behind the ear. We're gonna go up to the corner of the C-cup. So kind of like we are lining up the back of the neck right here, coming up from the mullet. We'll work it straight up towards the ear. And then kind of like if we were gonna round it around the ear just for a lineup, but we're gonna go a little more aggressive and kind of round up towards the C-cup. So you guys can do it in one stroke like this, or you guys can do it little by little. And then I end up coming in later anyways and kind of cleaning that up. So now that it's there, now I'll come in like this using the corner as I go around the rounded part and just kind of clean up that guideline before I start fading this out. And these are cutting all right. He has, uh, you know, we just cut that to a three, so it's a decent amount of hair on the sides. These aren't having too much trouble clearing that out. Now I'll come in and bald it out. Again, guys, another test. For one, not only how good does it bald out, but also how short does it go. Now these aren't zero gaps. These are straight out of the bag, out of the bag, out of the box. So I don't really expect him to hit super hard. We'll test him when we get to his vertical bar and line it up, kind of see how it does on a lineup, but it's definitely balding out just fine. Now, I'm not going to show you guys using the shaver since I'm going to have to use one of my other shavers and it won't be this brand. This video will just really be about the clipper and the trimmer. So I'm just going to use the open clipper real quick, guys, to blend his beard out. Just real quick before we do the fade, we'll use the trimmer at the very top. And you guys can see 99% right here so far. That is something I think is super cool. And I don't really know a lot about this brand, guys. They reached out and wanted to send me a custom pair with my name on it. But I will tell you, I spent some time looking around on Alibaba and Wish and Amazon. There's a ton of brands with the LED indicator on it. So I think maybe JRL does it on something. It just seems like it's something that these companies could be doing. I don't really know why nobody wants to. And I, you know, honestly, I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to do a haircut while I'm doing the lineup. I'm going to go ahead and throw these and get them charging. So I guess it's as important that I see the battery, but it is kind of cool. It's a cool feature to kind of keep up with. We don't have to look for a red blinking light or anything like that. So anyway, guys, did the open section. No problem. These actually cut super clean. Now I'm going to come in with the clothes and see if it will get that bald line out. Of course, when you guys look at clippers and if they'll take the bald line out. It also depends on what trimmer you use to punch it in with or if you used a closed clipper to punch it in, obviously. And so that kind of varies depending on what you guys use. I don't know if you guys can tell. Still a little bit of a shadow right here. This is a fade blade on these, so it's doing a decent job. I'll go ahead and grab my trimmer and just scoop up on these lines that are left right here from punching it in with the trimmer. But it did all right. It looks fine. Now we will go. This doesn't have notches, so we'll go about halfway open and we're going to go halfway up into the section. So I always use my same exact steps as I use on my tutorials to make sure that, you know, that's that's really how I can test it. And I was actually talking to my wife earlier about using somebody like DC for a bunch of reviews. And obviously I wouldn't show you guys his haircut tutorial over and over and over. But actually if we're reviewing clippers, it's actually not a bad thing to be cutting the same head because we can kind of see the outcome and if it's better or worse or consistent. And so I use the same steps. I use the same model sometimes and uh, we'll be able to see, you know, if this haircut at the end looks as good as maybe one of the last ones I did with something else. So now I'm just playing with my lever, kind of getting these lines out. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and go up to my next guard here in a second. All right, we'll move on to the one guard. Guys, the guards feel pretty similar to the wall guards that I use normally. One interesting thing, it does have one, two, three, but instead of having the half and the one and a half, it has a A and B guard. So that's a little bit different. I'm not sure why they chose to do that versus just calling it a half and a one and a half, but it does have an A and a B. So there's our open one. We got a nice clean guideline coming to the back. And you guys know now I like to actually work my way up and go ahead and connect everything together. So we will go to our two. Right about here is our three. So I'm going to go up right close to that. Wow, that's a two. It looks like a one and a half. Two all the way close. I'm going to go right up underneath where I did the three. Then we'll just continue to work our way down. So we will use the B guard, the one and a half more or less. After this, work our way down to that one. And then we'll continue to work down until we get rid of the line at the very bottom. Now it's a little bit heavy. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And again, guys, every clipper has different blades and different guards. There's one reason 
why I use my same guards normally. These were just such different guards, they really match and go with the clipper. I just thought I would use them on this. New clipper I hadn't really heard of. You know, if I get gamma clippers, things like that, I usually don't bust those guards out. I've tried them before, used them on some videos. I just use my wall guards that I always use. But there's the two open, we kind of connected that all together. Go back to close and make sure that that's all good. Now I can grab the one and a half or the B guard. All right, so I'm gonna do it again, same step. So this is the B guard or the one and a half. I use it halfway open. We're just looking to connect into that two that we just did. So it already looks pretty good, pretty much connected together. And then we will work our way down and work out anything that's left. Right through here is our last spot that we have to get. Back to the one. I usually come in with it open and just make sure that everything's good before I close it up. Last thing I wanna do is just throw the one on there, close it up and come in here and gash what we have. So now I'll close it up. The one open goes to about here at the bottom of my finger. So I'm gonna go about halfway from the line you guys can see up to that spot that I just showed you guys. I know that the line's not gonna come out. I'm gonna need my half guard or my A guard, but you guys should see it lighten up and start to look a little bit more consistent of a blend. And then last but not least, we will grab that half guard, that A guard in this case, and blend the line the rest of the way out. That's one thing I see a lot, guys. If you don't take this closed one high enough, you're really not creating that gradient. When you come in with the half, we'll just basically be cutting the line down shorter and shorter, and you really won't get that consistent fade that's gonna stretch its way up to the top. So I wanna make sure that I do go above the line here. And then when we come in with our next guard, we will actually attack more at the line. So you guys can see it's really not cutting anything else. We got it looking pretty consistent. Now I'll come in with the A guard, the half guard. It's kind of different, I don't know. It's like you got a A, I guess you got no guard, A, one, B, two, and then it just goes three, four. And that's all I got was up to four, but just a little different. And guys, this is halfway open like I would normally do it. It's really not cutting much at all. I'm gonna go ahead and close it up and come right here. You guys can see that last little line that we have left. I'm gonna be honest, I've only done one side of the head. These things are a little heavier than what I'm used to. That's a little bit of an adjustment. It is cutting just fine, but these are definitely slightly heavier. These are heavy metal body clippers, so a little bit different than like the boosted that I use on the regular that are super lightweight. But you guys can see we got the blend together looking nice. Just takes a little adjustment. We do have a fade blade, we do have different guards, so just kind of cutting a little bit, seeing what it does, adjusting until we're happy with the blend. These are? Like oh, yeah. Hot, like oh, I they are hot. Never noticed, like feel the warmth on Feel my that. <laughs> I didn't notice until you said that. Of course, I can't feel it, but. All right, guys, I just got one little spot right here I don't like, so I'm gonna go back in with the one. It's all the way open. I'm just kind of looking for anything I don't see. Anything I don't see, anything I do see that I don't like. Just a couple little spots here I gotta clean up and you guys can see, we got a nice blend here. All right, so all it really has to line up is this vertical bar. I'm gonna get this hair out of the way, come in, cut this vertical bar down, and I can tell you guys, these are not slapping out of the box. They are cutting the hair, but I know you guys can see on camera. Not that it's a lot of hair or super dark hair, but definitely not getting a super sharp line, so I may mess with zero gap in that. I haven't really taken these apart or seen what that looks like to zero gap, but you guys can see, not a super sharp line out the box, so may have to mess with those later on. All right guys, so for my final thoughts on the Suprint, that's how I'm gonna call it, I don't really know how to say it. I've cut a little bit here in the shop I didn't record for you guys, a couple days worth. So first off guys, with the clipper, one haircut took about 10% of the battery away, so you would get about 10 haircuts on one charge with this. And honestly guys, it cut fine, it was a little bit different, it does have a fade blade, you guys know I don't absolutely love the fade blade. Definitely not my favorite blade to use on clippers, but I love how quiet these things are. They didn't crunch as much as I thought they would, being as quiet as they are, but they did cut just fine. Only negative, guys, I will say they did get pretty hot pretty quick, so I don't really know. I don't really mess with all the like ceramic blades and different blades like that. I know some of you guys may know more about that. There may be some things you can do to make them a little bit cooler. Now, the trimmer, guys, it did cut just fine. It balls out super nice. I will say, though, it did not hit super sharp. It's not zero gapped, and I didn't mess with gapping it, so I'm not really sure even how you go about it, but I'm sure it can be done. It is set somewhat close. It would look like it would hit, but honestly, guys, these didn't hit super sharp, but of course, guys, I do have some of the best trimmers that are out, and that's what I'm basing it on. So I'm sure these would do just fine for a regular haircut. They will put a line on some hair if you guys need them for liners. Obviously, they balled out fine as well, so they're really not too bad. Now guys, I did find these on Amazon, obviously not with my name on them, but this set on Amazon goes for around 100 bucks. So it is actually a great budget kit for a beginner barber. I will say, guys, like I said, the only downfall is they get a little warm. So you don't wanna take too long on a haircut. They might get a little warm, but you can absolutely get a haircut done. They do come with the wall guard system, which is familiar to me and what I would recommend for most beginners because you do have the half and the one and a half, or in this instance, the A and B guards. Now, if you guys wanna check them out, I am gonna put a link down below on Amazon. You guys can grab them, like I said, for around 100 bucks. And for a beginner, that is an awesome deal for a clipper and trimmer bunny.
All right, guys, that is it. That's all I got for this video on the Suprint Clipper Trimmer Bundle. If you guys like to do me a favor, smash that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about these things. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I got two more unboxings that I'm up here recording right now. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.